Hi friends, my name is Esme Lawrence and I want to talk to you about um, stepping into your power. But first I'm going to tell you a story that happened to me recently. I um, went down to California and so I booked my ticket um, through WestJet. So I had to um, come back to my hometown at a certain time. So I decided to, um, to fly first class. Anyhow, um, it was a sacrifice to to, um, to actually to get the money to do it, but I did it. And um, so I went to California, had a good time and came back. And on my way home, um, flying um, first class, I was in the first row. And of course this was awesome because I had leg room and I stretched my legs and I was so comfortable. It's like, yeah, I love this. And um, so then I was you know, settled in my seat. Then I looked up and there was this man looking down at me with such distaste, just hate in his, in his eyes and just, just being totally negative to me. And basically, you know, with his body language saying, you don't belong in first class. Um, so I thought, oh my gosh, it was like initially I thought, oh, this is weird. But, um, but yeah, he just, you know, kept on looking at me and like, you know, um, as if he doesn't, didn't want to sit beside me. And uh, so I said, yeah, Esme, this is when your positivity comes into play. Anyhow, what I want to um, tell you this is this um, WestJet stewardess. Now they came and they were f smiling. They were friendly. They're like, okay, can I help you? Want anything else? You know what? And so I said, yes, they treated me as if I belong in first class. So I want to say to you is this, the negative people in your life, I'm going to use that man as an analogy. You don't need negative people in your life. You have to make sure you cut those negative people out because they will suck the blood out of your dreams, your goals. They will, they will make sure that you never get anywhere. But what you want to do have support like this the the west Ed flight attendant and they were supportive you want people who are who are going to say yes i'm in your corner and yes you belong in first class you belong in any space that you want to be in you belong i remember when i was training um as as, as a track and field athlete you need i needed a team you need a team to um to get you to your goals because sometimes you're weak Sometimes you need people to, um, to, to support you. So you, so when you have a team, I had a, a coach, I, uh, you have the chiropractors, you have the physiotherapist, you have, you have so many, the ma massage, ma ther massage therapist, and that's your team and they will support you. They will build you. And it's important. And if you don't have a team, you can find teams in, in books, e, um, e, um, e-books. Any kind of books that you want and you want to learn from, they're your, those are your supporters because they will give you directions. They'll help you get to wherever you want to be. Okay, so you, your, um, your team don't have to be people living around you. You can find your team anywhere you, you need to be. So those are your supporters. So what I would like to say to you is this. I'm going to give you four tips and how to step into your power. Because when you step into your power, you feel great. You feel, you feel like you can do anything. Anything is possible when you step into your power. And I want you to, be, to step into your power so you can be happy and live a happy, fulfilled life. I stepped into my power. I feel powerful. I feel strong. I feel I can do anything. So, first tip. Avoid negative people. They will suck your dreams. They will suck it away. You tell them their dreams and they'll laugh at you. They'll say, you don't belong in first class. You don't belong here. You need to get rid of those negative people. And the second, the second tip I would like to tell them to say to you is, don't care what people think about you. I remember in 2017, I went to Lisa Nichols and Susie Carter, um, they had a con um, conference, a speak and write. And I remember Lisa Nichols, of course, motivational, transformational speaker, best-selling author. And she said, what people think about you is none of your business. And that was, uh, that was awesome when she said, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, she is so right. 
It doesn't matter what people think about you. What matters is what you think about yourself. So the third tip I would like to say to you is this. Do it. Do you have a goal? Do you have a dream? Do it even if you're afraid. I remember talking to my coach. I have many coaches. Um, so my coach, Stacy Winkfield, she's a best-selling author of Breaking Badly, that beautiful book. And um, so, so I said to Stacy, oh, yes, I was supposed to go um, do a Facebook Live. But a month ago, and Stacy goes, what's preventing you from doing this? What is stopping you from coming out and, and, um, and doing a Facebook Live? So I said to Stacy, you know, it's, a, it's a, the chatter in the back of my mind. And I remember in junior high, people would laugh at me because I had a thick Jamaican accent, you know, and just laugh at how I look. And, I, I, and that came up in my mind. And I thought, oh, you know, all the fears. Mind you, you know, I did a Facebook Live and it was fine. All those fears I thought, it didn't happen. I also remember my, my podcast coach, Steve Olsher. He's an author. He's a podcaster. And I remember when I was in California, we were talking about the name of my podcast. And he said, um, Esme, why are you hiding the fact that you're a former Olympian? Why? And I said, you know, because I didn't get a medal. I didn't, want, didn't do as well as I wanted to do. You know? And he said, are you kidding me? The you have great accomplishments. Embrace it. I said, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to embrace it. And I've embraced it. Thank you. I have embraced the fact that I'm a former Olympian and I have things to say. I have a passion to help others and I'm going to share my passion. And the fourth thing I want to say, the fourth thing is love yourself. Look into the mirror every morning and say, I love you. I love how you look. I love how I love how you wear your hair. I love how you I love your body. Keep saying it until you until you believe it. Because once you believe it, your life change. And above all, put God first. Let him guide you. I remember when I, I was just feeling so depressed and you know and at a low point. And I said, Oh, I give up all the things I wanted in life. I didn't, I didn't accomplish it because I had just a negative mindset. I said, Lord, I surrender. I surrender. So friends, I really encourage you to step into your power, step into your greatness, because you can do whatever you set your mind to do. We don't have a short time on this world. Okay, so don't waste it. Don't bring your talents, your dreams, your goals to the grave. So thank you so much. Friends, and if you, if you find value in this video, please like it and please share it. Thank you so much. My name is Esme Lawrence. Okay, bye.